fingerprints, iris scans, facial recognition. Biometrics sound both frightening and exciting. But like it or not, they are the future of identification. And among those in the race to the top in biometric platform is Korea. Our focus on this week's IT and science front with Kim ji -yeon. It's not difficult to spot Koreans using their smartphones for bank transactions or online shopping, as Korea is one of the most connected countries in the world. Against that backdrop, companies are coming up with newer and faster ways for consumers to make payments using mobile apps. And this is where the Korea Trade Network comes in, a government-affiliated agency that provides automation services. It says it will start providing biometric platforms to companies and startups that want to get rid of complicated and inconvenient authentication procedures that imply entering one's ID and password at every step of a transaction. The biometric service allows clients to register their identification irrespective of what smartphone model they use, as long as the device is equipped with a camera function. I got a first-hand look at the registration process in one of the test run services sites that incorporated KTNet's verification services. It takes me less than two minutes to register my face, my voice, and my fingerprint on my phone. And the best thing is that I don't have to travel anywhere to verify my identity. It all works right away. The platform resolves one of the biggest obstacles in the widespread use of biometric identification, and that consumers don't need to purchase trendy smartphone models to use the service. Companies using the platform don't have to handle their clients' sensitive personal information, thus saving time, cost, and efforts, and enabling them to focus on their original tasks. In order to certify clients' biometric identification information, companies need to buy expensive software solutions and set up a server. And they have to hire an operator to monitor the server that secures the client's sensitive personal information 24-7. But with our biometric services, companies can save a lot of time and money and still provide a state-of-the-art, convenient channel to sign up, log in and pay for goods and services. KTNet says the amount of payment for using their platform varies depending on the number of clients and the size of the company wanting to use the service. But generally, it charges a local startup with less than 100 clients around eight and a half U.S. dollars for per client a year. Another caveat the agency tries to resolve through its biometric identification platform is the high level of security when handling personal data of the company's clients. If a client takes a picture of his or her face and registers it as an identification method, we find unique characteristics of the face and turn the info into binary sequences of zeros and ones. So even if someone hacks into our system, the information won't be exposed as it will look like random sequences of zeros and ones. KTNet says it plans to export its biometric platform overseas, and it seems it's on the right path to success. Market intelligence firm Tractica forecasts the global biometric market to grow at a yearly rate of 25 percent on average to reach $14.9 billion by 2024. Kim Jian, Arirang News.